10 things body language says about you. It won't be exaggerating to state that body language is the display of your qualities. You can judge a person just by examining his body language. It tells everything about the person. Most people pay special attention at developing an impressive body language, but more or less, it comes naturally you cannot do much about it. You can definitely redefine it to some extent by inserting some aspects like confidence, but if you will try to completely modify it, that's not going to happen. Body language is given a strong check in various fields of service, that's why having a good body language is of utmost importance. Relation of different body parts with body language. Number 1. Eyes. They themselves speak for a person, if the person you are interacting with has widened pupils, he is attracted towards you. If the eyeballs of a person are towards the left corner at the top, then that person is recalling something, and if they are at right, they are imagining something. Number 2. Lips. While evaluating body language, consider paying attention to the following mouth and lip signals. Tightening the lips might be an indicator of distaste, disapproval, or distrust. People sometimes bite their lips when they are worried, anxious, or stressed. Movement of the lips in any of the direction is considered as an indication. Number 3, hand movements can be of numerous types. A clenched fist can indicate anger in some situations or solidarity in others. Thumbs up and thumbs down are often used as gestures of approval and disapproval. The V sign, created by lifting the index and middle finger and separating them to create a V shape, means peace or victory. Number 4, legs, crossing legs away from another person, may indicate dislike or discomfort with that individual. Legs placed close to each other indicate introvert behavior, while those placed away from each other show extrovert nature of the person. Number 5, the closeness, the distance between the two person while talking determines about their relation. A person standing in close proximity of another is a sign of closeness, while if the distance is more than of an arm, it is just friends type relationship, no intimacy exists. If the gap is more than 2 to 3 meters, it is just formal relationship, nothing more than that. Number 6, smile. If a person smiles at your words and has wrinkles beneath his eyes then his smile is genuine. If no wrinkles are there, then the person is not much happy at your words. If the smile lasts for more than 7 seconds, then the person was very impressed by you. Otherwise he liked your words, but not that much. Number 7, Chest. If a person is standing with his chest pointing outward, then he is not much interested in the conversation going on. The person towards whom your chest is facing while a group conversation indicates that you are liking the person. Number 8, Posture. Your posture includes how you hold your head, shoulders, legs, arms, and hips. Each of these parts of your body work separately as well as together to send nonverbal cues. Examples include tilting your head, slumping your shoulders, turning your hips sideways, and the like. Number 9, Gestures. Your gestures can be related to verbal communication or unrelated to verbal communication. For instance, you might wave at another person as a way of saying hello, but you do not have to actually say the word out loud for the message to be clear. Or, you might use hand gestures, emphasize a key point during a speech or presentation. In this case, your gesture is related to verbal communication. Number 10, Playing with hair. If a person is playing with his or her hair with both hands, he she is of open-minded and can readily connect with anyone. If a person is holding his hair with one hand, then he she is very nervous 